All right, here we go. Question number nine from our college algebra homework number four on my math lab. It asks us to graph the polynomial function. And so here I've got my function written down. And the first thing I notice is that this polynomial has a degree of three, which means that this function is cubic. A degree of three is a cubic. So if I click to enlarge the graph, we're going to go here to the four point cubic tool. Now, since it's called the four point cubic tool, that means we're going to need four points to graph. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a table of values where we're going to need to pick four X's to come up with four points. And I'm going to start with zero because zero is super easy to work with. If I plug in a zero for every X, that'll make negative five. I need another X. How about one? And this time showing my work, 1 cubed plus 5 times 1 squared minus 1 minus 5. And if I work that out either manually or electronically, I'm going to get 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. That's going to give me a 0. I need another x. How about, I don't know, negative 1. You can pick whatever you want. I'm going with negative 1 cubed plus 5 times negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 5. And this time I am going to use my handy dandy calculator just to make sure I don't screw something up. And it is possible to input this all at one time if you have a nice scientific calculator scientific or graphing I guess and that's going to also give zero and I need a fourth X I have no idea what to pick let's just I don't know let's go with two two cubed plus five times two squared minus two minus five all right here we go calculator again two cubed plus 5 times 2 squared minus 2 minus 5 is whew, 21. So when x is 2, y is 21. And that is within the range of our graphing ability here. So now let's plot those points. All right, here we go. 0, negative 5. And again, you can see that I'm at 0, negative 5 by looking in the uh, upper right-hand corner. We've got one, zero, one, zero, negative one, zero, and two is up at 21, 21. So how can I input that point if I can't actually get there? Let's see, is there a way to plot that point without actually being able to get there? One, two, twenty-one. Edit coordinates. There we go. Two, twenty-one. Submit. Now, I don't know if you noticed what I did, but I clicked on uh, two twenty, and then I clicked on the graph again. Can you see that? and it's going to give me this edit coordinates tool so I can change that to 221 submit and that puts it right where I need it alright so let's save that and uh, before I click check answer I want to point out that I already have this graph over here in Desmos uh, I reset my window to the same size so this is negative 10 to 10 and then up and down it's negative 75 to 75 and if you look at this graph compared to this one you'll see that they look almost identical so that makes me feel good let's check it and yeah perfect so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section below or you can text me if you'd like and thanks for watching